my purpose in life is to be able to portray a positive picture of who we are while we've been printed so negatively. That's why I'm happy that you're around to see the progress we're making on our, a lot of it on our own initiative. While we were under the umbrella of the state of Maine for 200 years, we were on the Indian Asian system, which, uh, which, was, uh, which we didn't uh, do so well. Indian Agent was God, dished out some AIDS. My mother died at the age of 53, living on a $3 subsistence allowance which had to be turned in to the uh, which had to be turned in to the Indian agent who also owned the store. <laughs> this is the elderly apartments. Okay. It's established as a housing authority. It's a meal site for the elderly too. They have a big meal here every day. Wonderful. Hello, How are you? Fine. How are you doing? Gino. Yes, sir. Yes. Hey, good to meet you. Good to meet you. What's your name? Donald. Donald. Francis. Donald Francis. He's our chef. Yeah. Well. That's what happens to me. <laughs> well, you come here every day? Every I, day. I try to be here every day. Every day. Do you? Serve a great meal. Excellent. Well, this is a nice place, Joe. Oh, it is. Wow. Far cry from the one dilapidated building where we started years ago. Hi. Hi. Hello. Yes, yes. Uh-oh. Beautiful picture. They see me coming and they run, don't they? Yes. <laughs> They're so... They Is he available? <laughs> yes. I called him anyway. I warned him. He's got his makeup on. This is Clayton Cleaves. Reuben Cleaves. Hi. Director of the house. Clayton. Good morning. Good morning. Very hey, nice Dino. to meet you. Dino. Yes, sir. Yes, I've seen you. I uh, watch your uh, series all the time. You do? Very interesting. Oh, thank you very much. Well, we, we figured we'd do something here at sure. Point Pleasant. What, what, what Pleasant should we Point. call it? On Pleasant Point, what should, we, what should it be properly called? Zibayig. 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 That's how you say it. It's spelled S-I-P-A-Y-I-K, but the S is a Z syllable and the K is a G syllable, so that's, it's a Zibayig. Lose preservation it. of our language, the writing system. Look Named it. after that bay. Yeah. What a spot. Right, we talked about the old picture, how it used to be. I am extremely proud of our tenants uh, occupying uh, the, the homes assigned by the, the Sergeant Authority. Uh, the accounts receivable from the tenants are at its lowest point ever and uh, due to you know steady work and hard work by our staff that is at its lowest level. Yeah, does that mean that, that the people that live there are uh, working? That well, job, there are more jobs in the yeah, area? Uh, well people that are living there uh, they take uh, their homes as priority. You don't actually own the land but you own your home, is that correct? That's true, the you land can't is jointly sell. owned by all tribal members. So how, how, does it, how does a person build equity? We don't, you don't build equity in a home unless if you have your market here in the community. For <laughs> example, if I, my home is to, to be sold, I can only sell it to a tribal member, one who may be interested. And, and does, that, does that price ever go up? I mean, does it, how, do, how do you determine what that price when you resell will be? Oh yes, uh, well, the equity could represent the improvements you make in the home, okay. and the replacement cost would also be uh, considered. So uh, if you were to build a four bedroom home, home, for example, today, it's gonna cost you about $130,000, $135,000, $140,000. Ten years ago, a three-bedroom or a four-bedroom unit could be built for about a hundred. So, everything is just potential at this point. Okay. Uh, we're looking at e economic development, and la later on, I believe the tribal governor may uh, give you some information about that. Other lieutenant governor, or members of the council, but they're working on some economic development projects, which include LNG and the airplane parts and uh, manufactured housing as well. Are there many available? To buy, or there is it? Are, or there do you are no do homes available for sale from for sale. housing today. However, there are probably three or four homes uh, on on a private market. How many homes do you have available for people? If they I have 167 units under management, and we've uh, conveyed about another 118 
uh, to homeowners who completed that 20-year agreement with the housing authority. Yeah. We have 52 rental units at the moment, and, and they're all filled right up. We okay. have no vacancy. Okay. Uh, all right. I the understand. tax credit project about five years ago, uh, I recognized hot formula funding as a major problem. There was going to be a continuing lack of uh, financing to build homes. So after several training sessions uh, conducted by HUD in various places of uh, our country, I uh, ended up completing an application to Internal Revenue Service as well as to uh, the State of Maine Housing Authority, and it was approved. So they approved the construction of 28 units in one community center. It's a small center. And uh, the project was extremely difficult to put together. It is the first one of its kind in the eastern area of uh, USA, that would be east of Mississippi, uh, for Native Americans. So we put that all together, and the, the binders, I'm telling you, we have two binders. They're about 15 inches thick for each one, and nearly every one of those pages have signatures in them. Signatures from Federal Home Loan Bank and uh, our office here, the tribal government, Board of Commissioners and uh, the Main State Housing Authority, Rural Development. The project is about a $7.8 million project altogether w w when we're finished. Another project we're doing is called 515. And it's a five apartment, five apartment uh, facility, all rental units. And that is, that has, that's been funded at $700,000. But after review of the budget and the work that needs to be done on the project, we're short of funds. So tomorrow morning I have a Hooper appraisal from Bangor coming down to appraise the property in which this project will sit on. And hopefully from that point on we'll be able to obtain more funding to, com to complete this project. We hope to complete the project by August this year, and occupancy will be done in September. Joe tells me a lot of people are coming back. Yes. And, and that's why this is so important, mm -hmm. right? Absolutely. To have more homes and... Oh, well, unmet needs are still on the high side. Uh, even Interesting. After the, even after these 28 units. We hope to succeed with the cooperation of the homeowners. We hope to succeed with this project as well as with other projects and keeping the tenants accounts receivable down here again, we're going to go back to my original statement with regard to the tenants' accounts receivable, because if your tenants' accounts receivable are at a comfortable margin, then your access into state and federal funding and tax credit funding becomes a little bit easier, rather than the suspicion of, you know, that people will become delinquent and, and abuse these pro uh, funds. Why wouldn't a person here on the reservation uh, not buy, why wouldn't they just say, okay, I'm going to buy in Eastport because I can get my, my value is going to go up there? A lot of as times, as opposed to the, buy, having a house here. Exactly. You know, a lot of times, I think the heart of this whole question has a lot to do with economy yes. in our community. If in fact we had an abundance of economy in a community, naturally the real estate cost would also go up. I could sell a home or a private home could be up for sale for $125,000, $130,000. When originally it was uh, one hundred and ten thousand dollars to construct, but in today's economy, and because we have a high unemployment rate here in the community, the, those have to go down. It, it's it's just they all have to go down, and we're not able to sell these homes, by the way, until we have completed our agreement with the federal government, housing and urban development, and in this case with the tax credit project. That is a, an absolutely long-term uh, agreement that we have with uh, our syndicators as well as with the Maine State Housing Authority and the Internal Revenue Service. And are you aware we are you? <laughs> That's great. <laughs> yeah, keep going. Milton Gosson will tell me. Ha, <laughs> ha,
<laughs> what was that? Did, what was that song about? That was just a, a chant, yeah. and we're we're trying to insert a lot of our language in the songs, um, the welcome song, and so forth.